this Tuesday started. Happy Tuesday, everybody. First of all, I've got to tell you that I absolutely missed you yesterday. We missed you too, Coach. Now, Andrea did a good job, but we missed you. Yes, she did. So, I, I, I just, and I went back and watched the recording. It was really, really good. Really, really good. I enjoyed it, but it's not like being here live. Uh, so, I, I, I appreciate everybody, and I was actually on a conference Zoom with another company uh, for our company, and coach coach told me I could uh, miss practice. So, uh, thanks, coach. Mm -hmm. So the, the the word for today, our company. Let me let me kind of tell you, our company has kind of coined their mission. To transform lives in the form of health, in the form of finances, um, and so I, I we're transformed today to really dive into. How many of you? I know some of you are involved with our company, and if you're not, it's okay. This is not my pitch to try to get you involved. But how many of you have really dove into the word transform if you've been involved with our company? really dove into that word, like, like really went into it. Well, <laughs> coach has got her burn right there. Yeah. She's, she's, she's being transformed as we speak. I dove into the word transform and I picked the word for me. So I would actually dive into it. And it's a huge word for our company. And so if you look at the definition of transform, you see it says to make a thorough or dramatic change in the form, in the appearance, or the character of whatever you're trying to transform. And so I think obviously about me. You know, I think about Anthony Moreland. I think about Julie Bradshaw and, and, and you that are on here today. And the words that come to mind when you're wanting to transform something is it's action, it's commitment, it's desire, it's vision, it's change, it's a breakthrough. Those are words that really stand out when I think about transform. And so I dug a little deeper and I came up with five crucial steps for a powerful personal transformation. Is my service okay, coach? You're good. Okay, I'm trying to be still. <laughs> you possess the greatest gift, you truly do. You, pos you possess the greatest gift known to mankind. The power of choice. We've all had, we all had the five crucial steps. Number one, record your outcome. Record your outcome. Meaning, if I want to have a transformation, I've got to start with the end in mind, which is called vision. Remember, I went back up. If I go back up, I said one of the words that stand out in my mind when I think about transformation is vision. The first thing I have to do is record the outcome. I've got to start with the end in mind. I've got to have a vision for where I'm going. You look at any great coach, a great coach is forecasting a vision for their team, for their organization, for where they're going to go. Right? Does everybody hands up if you agree with that? Yeah. So the second thing is you got to take baby steps. I like to say this. You got to string little wins together. So many times people start a transformation and they want to hit it out of the park like the first day. It, 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 it does not work for Brent Palmer that way. I've got to celebrate and string little victories, little wins together. 
Change takes time and most are made by taking small steps every day for a period of time. Coach always, Coach Meyer always talks to people in our organization about this is a marathon. It's not sprint. You got to be able to play the long game in order to have the big victory. How many of you agree with that? Transformation is the is, is absolutely taking baby steps. The third thing, you got to learn from others. You got to learn from others. Learn from the journeys and, and the mistakes of others who have already taken the path that you're wanting to embark on. I love it. I want to tell you, to me, to me, the greatest leader out there is one that you can watch. And when they change directions and they go down a new path, they find new people to learn from. To me, that's the greatest mark of a leader is people that when they take a new path and they want to go through a new transformation, they find new people to learn from that have been there and done it. Let us all remember that. And then the fifth thing is be your own cheerleader. <laughs> you got to be your own cheerleader when you're going through a transformation. When you change, the people around you will react. Mm -hmm. some, will, some will support you. And some will work against you. Mm -hmm. They will resist your change, your transformation. So we must celebrate our wins ourselves. We've got to find a way to go to a private space and celebrate that transformation. Because sometimes we will be the only one celebrating. And that's okay. That's my five things that really are crucial to powerful personal transformations. Coach, I'll turn it to you. Yeah, thank you so much, Coach Palmer. Uh, it was a, it's a great, um, a great word. You know, it, it causes you, the word transform, I know it did me, it causes me to think in all kinds of things, perspective, what the word means. So I kind of went a different route, which, Thankfully, you know, I hate for uh, Coach and I to say the same things over and over. And so far, we've been able to keep from saying that. And uh, I was working on mine up until the last minute. But uh, I read a lot, and I find a lot of my information from different motivational speakers. And I encourage you to just read, read, read. I tell you, it's really good for us. Um, first of all, I sent a message out on the chat. I really want to thank everyone on here. You guys have been the reason my whole mindset has been transformed totally because I look forward to y'all and spending just a few minutes with you. So thank you. You know, transform to change a form or appearance. It's the process of changing to redo, reconstruct, rebuild, rearrange, reorganize, renovate, or overhaul. That's a lot of words, and that's just a few words that are tied to the word transform. You know, but I went down the angle of how can our words help in a transformation from a bad to a good situation, or even a bad to a better situation? You know, I, I truly believe that what we say to others in our tone is the most critical thing when it comes to dealing with people. I mean, I just, I'm a firm believer of that. I always tie into that on all of our messages somehow. But I read a story, and it might have been Tony Robbins that I read this in one of his books. Tony's a very high energy guy. You ought to watch him, watch some of his videos on YouTube. Very positive in motivation, and he attacks tough things. But he was telling a story of a, a it, that people were in a, just picture this. That we're sitting all in a big room, conference room in a big corporation. Every board member that had tied in all their money, every high ranking officer in the company was there. And they had one individual that was leading a project. And for whatever reason, this individual gets up and he lets everybody of real importance in this company realize somehow the ball got dropped in the last closing minute of this deal. It got dropped and it resulted in tons of money loss 
and I think it was it, it was a trickle effect. Well, one individual in that room, in that big conference room, immediately jumps up and he starts berating this one guy. He calls him literally everything but his name. He is ripping him. He is cussing him. He literally, the old term of his undressing him to the core in front of everybody that's anything in this company. And he absolutely gets to the point where the poor guy literally just breaks. I don't think he said he was in tears, but said he just literally broke down. And he just, you can imagine the body language. And in the middle of all this, everybody is of course taken back, but there's one other guy, and I think he was kind of the second ranking, ranking guy in command within the corporation. And the guy that was just ripping the poor old soul looks at this guy second in command and he's like, what is wrong with you? Why are you sitting over here so calm? We have absolutely been destroyed by a bad decision. And he was pointing fingers, of course, at this one individual. Well, what he said was pretty earth shattering, I think. He said, well, it's obvious we have a major problem. But, that famous three-letter word, but... Let's put our heads together and figure out a way to help resolve this issue. Again, remember, we're in a big room. Every important person in this conference room is involved. And this second in command guy steps up and, and the corporate president that was berating this person in the meeting, he wanted to know how in the world he can sit there so calmly at this time. What, like, basically, what's wrong with you? He said, well, You've called our very valued employee everything but his name and humiliated him to a level that is absolutely ridiculous. Yes, I'm a little peeved. That was the word he used, peeved. But it's a situation that is done. Now, as leaders of this company, let's figure out a way to get this situation fixed. So by the second in the command of that situation, he diffused this horrible, horrible moment in time. He transformed, he transformed everyone's state of mind to, from a complete panic and destructive tone to, okay, we've got a mistake, let's work together. We're gonna try to figure this thing out. Now, in my opinion, that's transformation when you can take something that drastic and have one individual to pull everybody back together. And I think that that's what we all need to always keep in mind in pressure times and good times for us to be somebody that can transform and help move forward in the worst of times. Watch your words. Wow. Coach, that was powerful. That was powerful. One person totally brought a transformation together. Ah, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, that was big. Um, well, I'll tell you this again. I'm like coach. You've, you have truly transformed my mindset. When this thing happened and we decided to do this coach's corner, I really thought it would be about a month. Maybe a month, maybe two months. Never did I think it would turn into be something that was an addiction for me mm -hmm. to be able to come to you every morning and see you and what you do for me. Uh, to the point where I had a very important thing to get on yesterday and I didn't want to get on it for missing you. So thank you for that. Thank you for that. Thank you for the text, the calls, everything you do it really, really, really means something. So, Coach, love you. Thank you for your heart. Thank you. Love y'all. Love everybody. So, we just have a great day. Have a great Tuesday. Yeah. See you guys. Hey, hopefully everybody will get their books. <laughs> oh, I love a book.